despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Right, so those y'all who saying don't keep it, shit, which it be always six, seven of us together, there go your two witnesses right there. Uh -uh, just go ahead, cuz, just keep reading. Because we don't know if it's cut. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who has trodden underfoot the Son of God? Right, because that's basically what you did. When you say fuck Moses, you trodden underfoot Yahweh shot. How do you do that? Because the Lord told you that the book is written of me. Them laws was written of him. He even tell you. Uh, and uh, what's that Exodus 23 and 20 mm -hmm. provoke don't provoke him to wrath listen to his voice and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified a holy thing right it cut that cut yeah. unholy thing my friend it's a lot it's Jeremiah 6 and 16 thus saith the Lord stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. I thought it was done away with though. <laughs> Why is the Lord telling you to ask for the old path? Right. That's our history. The law was the history. We, that's how we was established the Israelites. It's from by the law. Where is the good way and walk therein? Right. right. You're supposed to ask what is the good way. So what the first thing you think we start reading when we come into this truth. <laughs> I tell all brothers when they first come in, they be like, well, what should I do? Read the five books of Moses. Exactly. That's what you do. Don't start nowhere else. I don't say go into the New Testament and read the gospel. What the fuck you reading the gospel for, nigga? You don't even know your history, where you came from. And you shall find rest for your soul. Right. And when you find out how great and glorious your people is and what they went through being stiff necks, you start to find rest for your souls because now you're getting all these examples. I don't want to end up like my uh, foreparents did before me. And now, now I really understand why these curses at the end in Deuteronomy that Moses told you is on me. But they said we will not walk therein. Right. You motherfuckers in the churches. Also, I said, watch him over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Right, that's us on the highways and byways all over the world blowing this Bible. But they said we will not hearken. Right, they laugh and scoff and ride past and say we evil and give us all these names. Therefore, hear ye nations, O oh, and no, O oh, congregation, what is among them? Hear, O oh, earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts. Because they have not hearkened unto my word. Right. Then you wonder why Jake walking around here smack with madness. <laughs> and the black woman is unstable like war. Right. Straight fickle as hell. She don't know what she finna do uh, every six months to six months. First she was going to be a singer. Then she was going to be a dancer. Then she was going to be a lawyer. Then right. she was going to be an attorney. Then she was going to be this. Now she, right. That's why that's happening to you. Because you don't want to keep these laws that's command. And you man too. First you Jay-Z. Then you LeBron James. Right. Then you this. Then you that. Then you got all these uh, nicknames for yourself. Right, right. Like, the, uh, like the Rock. He started off a wrestler and then he went to movies. Right, right. he I unstable. Stable. Right, now you got to go back to wrestling. You would have thought he had enough money. The scripture said, fool's, uh, fool's heart shall be at the end of the earth. Nor to my law, but reject it. Yeah. Right, you rejected the prophets when they came and told you you were supposed to um, follow after the law. You're supposed to shave Now head. bring uh, that girl up. The one oh, you ran oh, into. Yeah, yeah, the girl I ran into, I used to go to school with. And the first person I brought, I brought it to her about the truth. Right, you got to put her name on that. Naomi. She told me she knew Right, she so Naomi, he like, talking to you. If you ever watch this video, mm -hmm. you already got marked. Right. When, he, when a brother brought the truth to you, it was for two reasons. Now I'm going to let him tell you. How he brought it to you, mm -hmm. and what two uh, 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 judgments that can happen, right. and how one kicking in. Right. She, um, I brought it to her, told her she was as like she said, yeah, I know this and that. And I when did your last year of school, school, right? Last year. Yep. Last year of school, and she wanted to, she wanted to follow, but then she wanted to stay, be with a fucking Edomite, and he finna die. So now she ain't with him. She went to college. She ain't got no job. She been looking for jobs. She can't even get into a Taco Bell job. Her mama used to write the news reports for New York Times and she lost that job and now they're trying to scramble money.
to get a job, right? Because if you women, it's all right, uh, you women should be brought down low. Right. And then not following after the law. You ain't coming to the Bible. And because you followed after the law and you didn't uh, go to college and graduate like her, right. so what you had to tell her in return after she gave you her sad story? Oh, right. I told her, well, shit, I'm working two jobs and I'm, I'm getting a, uh, 11 an hour. <laughs> uh, college, no right, job. Right. Eleven dollars an hour doing the work of the Lord. Job. See the difference? Like the Lord say, rise up ye women, hear my word, man. They ain't hearing the word. Right. So, so this is the benefit of you blacks, Latins, Native American, men and women, to do this work and be an Israelite. Yep. Come back to your natural state. Right, and we talking about that. Bring that uh, scripture out. We was just reading about the uh the Egypt thing, perverse spirit. I hate to jump off, but we have to bring this in. Because this, because this go right with keeping the law. A lot of people. Yeah. Was it 41? When the Lord uh, mingled a perverse spirit and mm -hmm. there is no work in Egypt. Look off y'all um, pamphlet. All right, you should better get it right off your lesson. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It should be marked in my book. If you can get close, you will see it. It was Isaiah either 41 or something. You should have it paraphrased on there. Okay, Isaiah 19 and 14. Read it, cuz. Go ahead and read it. Isaiah 19 14. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. Right, so the Lord made with that spirit to um, close down all these jobs. Your uh, economic system failed. All the jobs is going down. That's the spirit that the Lord pushed out on you Americans. Okay? As a drunken man staggered in his vomit. Right, you, you have no structure. Your economy system has no structure on um, prospering. That's why all the jobs is going down. That's why they're going to college and uh, uh, having a guaranteed job. It's not no guarantee anymore. And she said that. She said, well, right. She said, ain't no What's the name of that document, Henry? Still going to college. That's called uh, the College Conspiracy. Right. So tell them what they looked that up on. Uh, you can look it up on YouTube or Documentary Wire, I believe. But you can mostly find it on YouTube. What is it's it one more time? YouTube. YouTube.com. You search uh, College Conspiracy. That's it. Okay, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. Right, right. which is only saying from LeBron James having that lockout to y'all who work these factory jobs. Ain't going to be no jobs for now, one of y'all. Why you think all the football players doing all these secondary jobs with dancing with the stars and all this? That ain't no coincidence they doing that. Look at our old boy that played for um, Dallas. What's his name? Emmett Till? Emmett? Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith. <laughs> He danced with the goddamn stars. Right, because cause his money ran out. ran out. Football had a lockout uh, the year before uh, the basketball did. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can go right back, y'all. Okay. That's it. I'm going to get that uh, Malachi. Yeah, I got that Malachi. I got it. Go ahead, huh? Uh, Malachi 3 and 6. It says this. For I am the Lord. I change not. Right. The most high don't change not. He always have been the same since the beginning of time. So if he told you at the beginning to keep the law, motherfucker, it mean not keep the law. He ain't came back yet. But still keep the law. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So what, what you church people get all this bullshit? We got to tell them who the sons of Jacob is. The sons of Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel, the Latin, blacks, and Native American. Right, because that's who we talking to. We ain't talking to no white people. For well, I am the Lord, I change and, not. And right, he said, it's like he said, so you um, children of Jacob are not consumed. Right, because if you don't follow up the Los Angeles commandments, them curses going to come on you. That's why you ain't got no work. That's why Naomi ain't can't find no job. Right, you got nothing but curses on you because you're not coming back to the Lost Angeles commandments. Yep. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's okay, it. I got this. This ain't on a pack, but this has got to go on, man. This last scripture for the Lord not done away with. Psalm 78 and 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Well, you ain't got to put that on there. That's on the uh, other half. Okay. Yeah, that's on the other half. That the generation to come might know 
might know them. Right, we got that on the man, woman, the child scripture. Okay. Even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children? All right, the prophets of the Lord. Yeah, that's why we're doing it now. That's why we're exempting ourselves from all this judgment. All right, now that was the end of that little section with those precepts on the laws not done away with. Now we're going to go into what color is God.